Hi friends, let's begin drawing the apparatus for distillation, specifically for water distillation. Before starting any diagram, always draw a horizontal line. This ensures that the entire apparatus is aligned in a single straight line. First, draw two long parallel lines. I have used a 360 degree protractor to draw the circle for the distillation flask. Next, draw two lines connected to the circle. Now, we'll draw the end on which the distillation flask is placed. Beneath the stand, we'll add a Bunsen burner. If you want a detailed diagram of a Bunsen burner, I have posted one earlier, please check it out. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment or include it in the end card at the end of this video. Since this is a small Bunsen burner, we'll draw the knob and the gas outlet. Below that, we'll add the base for the burner. Next, for the large horizontal stand, draw a moderately sized oval-shaped base. Now, we need to connect the distillation flask to the stand. To do this, draw two vertical parallel lines representing the stand's support. These are the holders that secure the flask. Don't forget to draw the knobs as well. If you want, you can color the diagram. Now, let's draw the stopcock, or stopper, for the flask. Follow along as I use a short ruler to draw these lines. Inside the flask, we will insert a thermometer. To do this, draw two vertical lines and close them at the top and bottom with a curved shape, forming the thermometer. I'm using a red sketch pen to draw the tip and the scale inside it. Next, we'll connect the distillation flask to a small tube. Whenever you draw a tube, remember that it always has a stopper, so don't forget to include it. Now, draw a small tube-like structure, followed by a long slanting line. This part represents the condenser. So, we are now drawing the condenser. Now, you need to draw two slanting lines on top of the tubes and connect them using a small curve. This forms the condenser. Next to the condenser, there are two pipes attached, one for the cold water inlet and the other for the cold water outlet. So, we'll draw small tubes on both the right and left sides. This condenser is connected to another small tube, which leads to the collection of distilled water. It looks like a droplet, as the collected water will drip slowly, drop by drop. The water will pass through this small tube and fall into the conical flask. Now, let's draw the conical flask. Follow along.
I am using a blue sketch pen to show the water droplets and how they collect inside the conical flask. This represents the distilled water. Finally, let's draw the steam, as it is through the steam that the condensation process occurs. The steam turns into water vapor, which then condenses and settles in the conical flask as distilled water. I'm shading the Bunsen burner using stripes. If you want, you can do the same. I am also thickening the base. Now, let's add dots, big, bold dots, to indicate that this is salt water. This is the final step, labeling. Draw lines to label the parts, and kindly follow along. Make sure to add arrows at the end of each line. Now, label the parts one by one. Thermometer. Receiving flask. Distilled water. Bunsen burner. Condenser. Salt water. Vapor. Distillation flask. Cold water outlet. That's it. We have completed the diagram. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in the next drawing session. Bye for now.